Welcome back to the theme park visit to another Jurassic World Velocicoaster update. We have a lot of photos from Bio Reconstruct on Twitter. These are from August 31st to as recently as yesterday. We have, as you see, the Warden Tower here for the Jurassic World uh, Velocicoaster Raptor Encounter. This is the tower overlooking the Raptor Paddock. And below, you see that's the cage, the transition cage that the coaster will be using to go from the station to the the launch edge that's that transition to the raptor paddock and there's some perforated metal grating happening on the top here's a closer and look cl closer picture of that as you can see with that oh, yellow arrow is they started started enclosing this section and putting in the metal grating to make it look like a really secure transition as if you would really be in the Jurassic world raptor paddock Moving on to the next picture, here's a picture of the top hat. As seen in previous updates, there used to be an osprey nest up there and two ospreys, but that has obviously they've, they've been cleared out and the ospreys have not returned. But there have been, again, some more metal paneling on the lower part of that picture and that transition from the station area to the raptor paddock, which is where the first launch is. There have been some additional um, uh, ratings there to close it in and uh, seal it in and make it more, again, secure. Here's a view from the top, and he get where from his awesome helicopter photos. And again, the building to the top left is the station, and then the building to the right is that entrance into the Raptor paddock. There's a um, rumored. You'll get chased by a raptor. You get to see some dinosaurs in that thing. You'll get launched into the rock work. And look at that. Just, these are, show openings are massive. Are the, the show openings are massive, but there's just the whole thing is just massive and incredibly themed. It's, it's an incredible, incredible coaster. And as you see in the next picture, they're going to close up. You know, they're starting to close up the raptor paddock um, gates and walls with this. You, you, you used to be able to see inside. But now, they have that white paneling there as it's starting to close up the paddock. And soon, we'll have only aerial views we'll only have from the uh, into the coaster to see the progress on the rock work and stuff like that. This coaster is getting very, very close to completion very soon. It's going to open in 2021. Still no announcement from Universal Orlando on when this coaster will open. I can even say the spring 2021 this could be opening because the track is done. The theming is wrapping up, as you can see very closely, at least the exterior theming. And all they got to do is really finish some rock work and install animatronics. And here's again another picture of more of the raptor paddock fencing being sealed up so the raptors won't escape and attack the guests on the walkway, of course. But here's that uh, more rock work with the scaffolding right there. and you'll be launched. See, there's that first, that Emmelman right there. And you'll be launched right into that Emmelman. But you'll be going through Rockwork. And then you'll be launching up over Rockwork. In fact, there's a great video from Amusement Insiders. I'll link it in the, uh, actually put it in the cards and I'll link it in the description below that shows what this could be looked like. Uh, he rendered a full POV of it through then using the game No Limits. And it looks incredibly accurate. And you can see what I'm talking about, where, where the raptors will be placed and how you'll be launching it through this rock work here. And as, as you can see, the track goes up and over the rock work and a lot of rock work still to be completed here. That white portion of the track, that white covering, that track that's being covered by the rock work is still being constructed and painted on. Obviously, they don't want to mess up the track, so they cover it. And that's what that white stretch of track is. But you'll be in, over, and through rock work. It's absolutely incredible. And we'll get to enjoy this view for a little bit longer. Maybe not more than a week, though, as the Raptor Paddock uh, gates will be, again, looking to be sealed. But in this next photo, we'll see how they're changing up the colors of the rock a little bit. Adding some more uh, moss and adding some more texture to make it look 
again, real life, looks like you're really in this prehistoric time, and are really in this theme park, this Jurassic World theme park, and it's the new bar here. They're adding this nice weathered kind of tint to the rocks. So you can see that brownish tint to the rock work with all that scaffolding. And look at that, that helpful, little rock. That's like rock work if there was in real life or even here. You just wouldn't want to fall on that because it's going to like pierce you. It's going to spike and pierce right through your body. Those are very pointy, pointy rocks, but they match the ones of the Jurassic River Adventure just across the way. So I think that's that's why they did it like that. But the very prehistoric looking rocks and just an incredible, incredible ride. Here are incredible themes to this ride. Here's just some more a couple more close up pictures of the rock work and the track specifically. Again, there's covered supports and covered track as they continue to frame. They're framing this rock work. It hasn't even been like completed yet or even close they just started this framing of this rock work again piercing right through the scaffolding and the track the track goes right over it i mean just there'll be lots so many near misses on this attraction it'll be incredible i cannot wait to see a full pov of this in real life hopefully universal will release one i don't think universal usually does that but hopefully they will and if not when it opens to the public hopefully oh there'll be lots of povs for us to watch as well. But here's yet another picture of the track being covered up with the yellow and white um, tints as the rock work can, can, continues to get formed and painted. And our last picture here, just a kind of a wrap-up picture of, again, that first launch into the Immelman or Half Loop and how just so much rock work continues to get framed over here. It continues to get framed. It's going to be absolutely fantastic when it's done. I mean, there's so much rock work, you won't even get to see the much of the track, especially with the Raptor Paddock fencing over there. You won't get to see much of the track. It'll be kind of a mystery to people who don't know the layout already, which kind of adds to the field of attraction. The really, only parts you get to really see is the second half of the attraction from the top hat and down over the lake by the barrel roll and the 540 helix by uh, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. But what do you guys think of this attraction? Are you super excited? Are you love these Velocicoast updates? Subscribe for more uh, Velocicoast updates. Let me know what you guys think of this coaster below. Also, how much do you think this thing cost? I mean, we thought Hagrid's was expensive. Who knows how much this coaster is? This is absolutely incredible. Props to Universal for continuing to make thematic, amazingly thematic coasters um, and going away from those screen based attractions that everyone does not like. But let me know what you guys think about this. This is Velocicoaster in the comments below. When do you think it will be open? When do you think Universal will make an announcement? What's your favorite part of this attraction? Your favorite theming of this attraction so far? What do you guys think of the whole situation? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. And as always, have a fantastic day.